Hello and welcome to the Building Call It Chucks in a Spree Edge video. My name is George Nakarado with Production Machining Technologies and we'll be covering converting a solid model into an Esprit Edge fixture with collet jaws. With Esprit Edge started, you'll see a templates page. The first thing we'll do is select default inch as our beginning template. Once Esprit starts up, we'll go to File, Import to bring in our solid model. We'll go to our solid model we're going to make today for the chuck. You'll get a dialog box that asks you if you would like to run CAD diagnostics. We're going to select yes. It finds no issues with the model so we can continue. The first thing we want to do is orient our part in the space so that it can be correctly fixtured on the machine. So we'll select an outside cylinder of our chuck and go to the manipulation ribbon and select a line Z. This will snap the chuck to the center line of our Z axis. Then we'll select the back face, hold shift and press a line Z again. This will snap the blue Z vector into the back face so that it can correctly position on our machine. How chucks and fixtures work inside of a spree edge is the origin point is how the fixture mounts onto the machine. Then you will create a work attachment position, and that is where work pieces attach to the fixture. A fixture attachment position, that is where other fixtures that are attached to this fixture attach. And then we will have jaw attachment positions on this particular fixture as well. So what we want to do is separate our solids. We have a solid for our chuck, these two solids, and a solid for our jaw. So we'll name one chuck body and a new layer as well called jaw. So I'll move these two models into the chuck body layer by selecting the whole solids, going to the properties window, and going to the layers and selecting chuck body. Similarly, I'll select the jaw solid, properties window, layer, jaw. Now you can see that my jaw and chuck are on two different layers. Continuing from there, we'll turn off the jaw layer and double click the chuck body layer. We need to make a through hole for our chuck to work correctly in a spree edge. I looked up the information for this chuck from the manufacturer's website and it should have a maximum slug diameter of 2.62 inches. So I'll make a 2.62 diameter hole through. I'll rotate to the back, go to geometry, circle, select the origin. I'm going to type in 2.62 forward slash two. This is going to automatically convert the diameter I wanted into the radius as this field is looking for a radius value. I can now select modeling, select the circle at which I want to cut through, extrude, end type, or select through all, select the first solid, modify target yes, cut yes. Remove outside, no. This will cut a 2.62 diameter hole through the first solid. We'll do need to do the same thing for the second solid. So with the circle still selected, extrude, through all, select body, modify target yes, cut yes. Okay, now we have a 2.62 diameter through hole. We'll need to now create a WA1, FA1, JA0, JA120, JA240. WA is going to be our workpiece attachment. FA is going to be our fixture attachment. JA is going to be our jaw attachments. So we'll go to manipulation and modify work plane. Please note, use modify work plane. Do not use work plane from geometry. 
we'll select the blue axis to move up to the front of our fixture chuck. This will be our JA0. Then we will modify work plane again, select the blue arc, type in 120 to rotate 120 degrees. That'll be our JA120. Modify work plane again, blue arc, 120. That'll be our JA240. Now we need to create a fixture and workpiece attachment point. We want the workpiece and a fixture attachment points to actually be at the front of the jaws, even though the jaws are not going to be created in this particular chuck. So we're going to select jaw to turn it on, use modify work plane. We'll also want to be on the JA0. Modify work plane, select the blue axis, select the front of our jaw. And then we'll save this as WA1. FA1. Now let's save our file. So we'll go to File, Save As. We're going to save as the same name as the model. That saved it as an Esprit file, so we can always come back in here and make adjustments if needed. Now I want to save the solid bodies of the chuck, so I'll select those two. Turn off the jaw layer and go to File, Save As. And I'll save that as a fixture files type. So Save As type should say fixture files. And then you can name it whatever you'd like to name it. Now let's move on to working for the jaw. We're actually going to delete the chuck body. And then we can also delete all these work planes. We're going to save this file as an Esprit file with the ending jaw. Now we will want to place our jaw at the origin so that when it mounts to our JA position on the chuck it mounts correctly. So I'll select the back of the face of the jaw, hold shift and click align Z. For the jaw, we'll want to partition our solid into three sections, and we'll only need to keep one section. To do that, I'm going to rotate around and go to the Geometry tab. I'll select Circle, select the back origin, type in 2.0. Then I'll select Line, select the origin, and type in 60 for a 60 degree angle. Line again, negative 60. Now I want to offset these two lines towards the section I want to keep. I like to do it a couple thou more than the range of my collet. This collet has a range of 31 thousandths plus and minus. So I'll do 35 thousandths. So I'll do line one, select this first line. I'll type in 0 0.035 for my distance offset and click towards this side. Line one again, select this line. I can press enter because I've already input 35 thousandths here. And then click towards the middle. And now I can just keep this section and this section. I can now delete these lines as well. And select keep on this outer circle. Now I want to partition and remove the rest of this collet. To do that, I'm going to select Modeling, Extrude. We'll first need to select the shape we want to extrude. So I'll hold Shift and select one of the lines. Now I can press Extrude. Through All, select the body. Modify Target, Yes. Cut, Yes. Remove Outside, Yes. Now we have our call it partition. And now I also want to create circles that represent the ID cutaways for our call it. So I'll do 
a diameter of half inch and a diameter of three quarter inch as examples. So I'll select circle one origin. I'm going to type in 0.5 forward slash two to create a radius of a half inch. And then circle again at the origin. I'll type in 0.75 forward slash two. I'll start with the innermost one. Select that circle. Go to modeling, extrude, through all, select the body. Yes for modify target, yes for cut, no for remove outside, and select OK. Now I can select this solid to save as a jaw file. And I'll type in 500 for half inch ID. Now I'll select this circle, extrude, through all, select the body, modify target yes, cut yes, OK. And now I'll select this body again, save as jaw, and I'll put underscore 750 to signal that it's a 750 thou diameter. Continuing on, we could make additional ID pockets for our jaw. So let's save this jaw file. Let's now open the solid chuck body and machine tool builder to make adjustments to the range of our JAs, jaw attachments. So I'll go to machine tool builder and open the body for the chuck. All I'll really want to do is adjust JA 0, 120, and 240. And I'll place the clamp position at negative 0.7874. And I'll place the open position at 7874 as well. This is the metric version of 31 thousandths. So I can also copy that field and just paste it behind the negative sign there and paste it there as well using Control V on my keyboard. Now I can test the chuck and jaws inside of an Esprit file. To do that, I'll save the jaw file. And I'll go to File. And I'm going to open a simple test file. And I'll go to Machine Setup. And I'll adjust the subspindle chuck to use the Collet. And then I can attach the jaws. And you can see them open and close successfully as well. That concludes this video. Please look for future videos from PMT. Thank you.